Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to introduce y'all to our Mimi's home. It's a little tool that we use um, to uh, pull back the material um, without harming the worms. We have them in black and we have them in pink. Basically, let me make sure there's no worms on here first. So basically you just take this comb and you're able to just pull the material back. Now what I'm doing in this bin here, this is a mixture of our feedstock, which is uh, manure, peanut holes, compost, some uh, worm and cricket feed, put it through the Brockwood uh, shifter and and I put the worms in this. I wanna see, we've got a lot of little small worms in here. So I wanted to see if I could get them growing faster or plumping up, which I already see I'm getting, getting some already plumped up from when I put them in here on Friday. Today is Sunday. I made a terrible mistake on Friday, and that is I put them in here. Um, I had about five or six trays that I had five pounds in each tray. And the material was a little bit warm, but I thought it would be okay. But I didn't add enough water before I left. I was in a hurry. Came in Saturday morning, and I had a really mass exodus of red wigglers. So it was very heart sick. Um, but we salvaged most all of them, which I was happy I caught them in time. Don't know how many's in this bin now, um, but I did want to see how they're going to do in this material. So this is basically just a bedding and feedstock mixture. And um, like I said, I'm mainly going to see how they do and you can follow along. I'll be doing some updates on these about once a week to keep you updated on how they're doing and you'll also be able to see if they're, if you think that they're uh, making any progress. But this comb is really nice because it doesn't harm your worms. It's small, it's just easy to work with. I have my signature pink. Everybody knows I love pink, um, mainly because of worms being pink. Um, but this little old comb is just the right size for working with um, your bins. It's, it's now if you had a, a raised bed and you needed a one of those garden ones, that's fine. I just think they're a little bit harsh on them. And honestly, I need to start using this more myself because I think when you use your hands, you're just apt to smush your worms. So I'm going to give them a little bit of my uh, new and improved uh, worm feed. You can check out our video. Um, we make this right here. I don't have to worry about adding any grit because we've already added the grit in the feed. So all I have to do is just give them a little, little feed. Now I'm doing it right down the middle here. Um, well, no, I tell you what, since I'm trying to fatten these up, I'm going to do it all over the bed. Normally if I was trying to breathe worms, I would just do my trench like I was going to do and I'm so used to doing that. But these we want to fatten up, so I'm going to spread that all over the whole bed. Now this bed right now is really really moist so I'm just going to work that kind of just to the top and let that moisture uh, get in that feed. I'm not going to mix it in the bed though and, um, and we're going to put them to bed and see how they do. If you like my videos, if you would hit that subscribe button, I would so appreciate it and if you uh, like, you can hit the the like button, all these, all those things help. Share our videos. Um, I'll have a video uh, 
at the end that you can watch um, if you want to go to another one of my videos. And um, if you would just support us, if you like the material that we're bringing to you, we are a commercial worm farm and I bring to you all the little tips and tricks that I know. I don't hold anything back. Um, even our worm feed that we make here at the farm, we give you all the ingredients, tell you how to make it. Um, just follow along with this. Hit that notification bell and when we get a new video that comes out, it'll automatically notify you and you can uh, watch the next video. All right, until next time, you guys have a good evening.